adapter design pattern. From the very name adapter, it is giving us the idea that this adapter design pattern will create a bridge between two incompatible interfaces. This adapter design pattern is falling under the structural design pattern category. Adapter pattern works as a bridge between two incompatible interfaces. This type of design pattern comes under structural pattern as this pattern combines the capability of two independent interfaces. This pattern involves a single class which is responsible to join functionalities of independent or incompatible interfaces. A real life example could be a case of a card reader which acts as an adapter between memory card and a laptop. You cannot directly interface a memory card with a laptop. We require one card reader in between. So this card reader will work as, an, as a bridge between these two incompatible devices. So you plug in the memory card into card reader and card reader into the laptop so that the memory card can be read, can be written via the laptop. We are demonstrating the use of adapter pattern via following example in which an audio player device can play mp3 files only and wants to use an advanced audio player uh, capable of playing VLC and mp4 files. So I think from this uh, the conception is not getting clear. So let us go for one practical example where we will be writing one Java application and using UML class diagrams we'll cut, we shall discuss details about this adapter design pattern. So here is the demonstration for you. Now in this demonstration we are going to discuss how to implement adapter design pattern. So for, for the implementation we will be considering one case study. And in the case study, we will be having one interface that is the media player interface and that is one concrete class that is the audio player implementing the media player interface. The auto audio player can play mp3 format audio files by default. We are going to have another interface. The name of the interface will be advanced media player and concrete classes which will be implementing this interface that is the advanced media player will be having the name that is our uh, VLC player and MP4 player and they can play VLC and MP4 format files. We want to make audio player to play other formats as well. So that is other formats uh, are there. So we want to play those particular media files uh, in the audio player. So to add to attend this we have created an adapter class known as a media adapter which implements the media player interface and uses advanced media player objects to play the required format. So audio player also uses the adapter class media adapter passing it the desired audio type without knowing the actual class which can play the desired format. So adapter pattern demo will be our demo class and which will use the audio player class to play various different formats in the and produce the required outputs. So to have this particular implementation we are going through certain number of steps. So create interfaces for media player and advanced media player. So media player dot java and advanced media player dot java will be having our two interface files. So let me discuss them. Let, let me show you the what will be the code for that. So public interface media player. So media player is nothing but one interface. It is having only one method that is a play which takes the audio type as input and file name as input. So audio type and the file name both will be of the type of string. So string objects. So they will be taken as input and the name of the method is play which returns void. So here this interface name is media player. So now let us go for the advanced media player interface. So instead of play here we are having play VLC and play MP4. So here we are passing only one input argument that is a string file name object. In the initial case I have passed this audio type and the file name but here as from the very particular method name play VLC so it indicates that it, will, it can play only the VLC media files and next one is the play MP4 which plays only the MP4 media files. So here we are not passing the type we are passing only the file name. So we have defined this play media player. So there is a media player one interface and here we have defined one advanced media player another interface. So we have covered the step number one. So next one 
create concrete classes implementing the advanced media player interface and they will be VLC player.java and MP4 player.java. So this is our media player interface we have discussed earlier. This is our advanced media player interface. So now I'm going to implement this advanced media player interface in certain classes. The name of the class will be VLC player and MP4 player.java. So class VLC player implements advanced media player. So so play VLC. This particular method is going to get overwritten here. So it is it is taking the file name as a string object as input parameter. So we are printing this respective line. So playing VLC, VLC file and the name is concatenation file name. And this is our uh, play MP4. For this particular VLC player class, for this play MP4 method, we are just overwriting and writing no code there actually. This is just the opening curly brace and the closing curly brace we are having. So next we are having this MP4 player. So it is also implementing the advanced media player interface. And here you see in case of play VLC method, we are writing nothing but in case of play MP4 method, we are just printing this respective statement there. So that is about MP4 player. So VLC player and MP4 player. So we have covered, we have, we have discussed uh, step number two. So now we are going for the create adapter class implementing the media player. So media player is still unimplemented. So here the name of the um, class is, uh, that is the implementing class is our media adapter.java. So let us go for the media adapter.java. So as we discussed that media adapter.java, this particular media adapter class will implement the media player interface. So we know that in case of media player interface, we are having only one method defined, that is our play. So only one method is defined, that is our play. So this is the media adapter, this is the constructor. You can find that this is a constructor, this is a parameterized constructor which takes the audio type of the type of string object as input parameter. So audio type dot ig equals ignore case. If the, if the input parameter is VLC, then advanced music player is equal to new VLC player. You can find that this advanced music player is nothing but one interface. You can easily get them. And this is for here we are just and this, uh, this is a VLC player is nothing but the implementing class of this advanced media player interface. So that's why we can easily write advanced music player is equal to new VLC player. This advanced music player is nothing but advanced media player interface object. Okay. Else if audio type dot equals ignore case if it if the string is MP4, then we are just creating one MP4 player class object using this constructor and that will be that will be taken in uh, advanced music player which is nothing but advanced media player interface object as this particular class that is a media adapter is implementing media player interface so it must be writing the code for the method play so this is a play method so it is taking the audio type and the file name as input argument so audio type dot equals ignore case vlc so music advanced music player dot play vlc file name else if audio type dot equals ignore case mp4 then advanced music player dot mp4 file name so in this way the respective uh, play vlc uh, play vlc will get executed so th this is the respective code which will be executed here and in this case we are having this one as play mp4 so this respective code will be printed there this respective statement will be printed so now we are going to have this media player, uh, media adapter. We have gone for the detailed discussion. Next one, we are having this create concrete class implementing the media player interface. That is the audio player dot Java. So we are going for this audio player, which is also implementing the media player. So it is taking this media adapter object as instance variable. So you know that in case of media player, we are having one unimplemented method that is a play which takes the string audio type and string file name as input parameters. So now if audio type dot equals ignore case mp3, then system dot out dot print and playing mp3 files name colon plus file name. So concatenation is taking place. Else if audio type dot equals ignore case vlc or audio type dot equals ignore case mp4 then media player is equal to new media player audio type. Now, when you are passing this uh, a VLC uh, or this MP4 as input argument as an audio type, then the respective objects will get created and that will be and uh, that will be put under the, uh, in this media player media adapter, which is nothing but media adapter class object. 
then media adapter dot play audio type comma file name so it will it will print the respective statement on the screen respective string on the screen so else system dot out dot print ln invalid media audio type we are getting this one concatenated format not supported we are going to have the last uh, class that is the use the audio player to play different types of audio formats that is the adapter pattern demo dot java so this is our adapter pattern demo dot java class here we are having the main method so here you have defined audio player class object is equal to new audio player so this audio player class object we have defined here so it is implementing this media player interface so play method is there so now what will happen if you go for audio player dot play mp3 is a type beyond the horizon dot mp3 is a respective file name mp4 is a type then alone dot mp4 is a file name in this way you are having so for this avi obviously it is incompatible uh, media type so we are going to have the respective message that is format not supported so now let me execute my code and see what outputs we are getting so these outputs we are getting so playing mp3 file name colon beyond the horizon dot mp3 so there is a file name we are having here so similarly the other outputs we are getting and the last one is very interesting as this mp3 mp4 and vlc only three formats media file formats are supported avi format is not supported here so invalid media uh, avi format not supported so that message is getting printed so this is the implementation of our adapter design pattern so let us go for the class diagram here email diagram we are going to have so here we are having one java interface that is the media player we are having another java interface that is the advanced media player so this media player is getting implemented in audio player and this media player is also getting implemented in media adapter so this particular media adapter is taking you know that if you go for this media adapter you can easily find it is having one instance variable that is a that is a advanced media player interface object so that's why you are getting this line so it is having one uh, one instance variable here of the type that is advanced media player so this advanced media player is having these two methods this media player is having only one method but having one class that is the audio player which is having one media player uh, media adapter this is the instance variable under the class media adapter and we are also uh, this is the respective media player is there in the audio player you can go for this audio player you can find that it is implementing the media player and it is taking this media adapter object as instance variable so there is a media adapter object as instance variable and also it is implementing this media player interface so this particular advanced media player is having another two concrete implementing classes that is a vlc player and the mp4 player so these are the respective classes implementing this advanced media player so now we are having this adapter pattern demo dot java which is having the constructor here under the public section and the static public method that is the main so in this way this particular class diagram is uh, is depicting the architecture of this respective application so in this video we have discussed how this adapter design pattern can be implemented thanks for watching this video